All right, so I'm on the hunt for the best food truck in Galveston. I asked a lot of people on Facebook, what's your favorite food truck in the area? And a lot of people pointed me to this place right here. Okay, so I'm here at the food truck. Uh, the owner just told me he's gonna go pick up his wife. They wanna pull out a big banner and do the whole uh, thing and make a really good video, so that's cool. I've actually wanted to come out here for a few days now. The weather hasn't been too great this weekend. Oh, you're okay? The goal is to open a restaurant. Okay. But we started with this because this is a lot cheaper than the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And it's been a ride. It has been a ride. We have a lot of um, times when it's really dead. Yeah. And when you have. Um, somebody bills to pay. What, what would you say was the hardest thing about starting a job? Not, not knowing. Come on. Come on. Um, not knowing how people were going to respond mm -hmm. because um, when we talk about Caribbean food to everyone that we talk about Caribbean food, they all told us, oh, that's not going to sell, that's not going to sell. People people love tacos here, that's not going to sell. Yeah. And we're like, but I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm from the Caribbean, so I want to sell the things, we want to sell the things that we like, that we eat, that we grew up eating with. And, um, and to see that people have um, responded so well, it's amazing, it's amazing. It's like giving people a slap in the face without a hand. Yeah. Those that gave us so many negatives, can you come out? Those that gave us so many negatives um, report about what sells here. Because everywhere you go, all you see is taco, food, taco truck, taco truck, taco truck. I'm like, no, we could sell taco, but that's not that's not who we are, you know. Um, so, and this is only a little bit of the Caribbean culture because um, if you go to Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Colombia, all hey. all those all those places, they're like the food is amazing. So we only have a little bit of all the things that we could cook yes. because we don't have the. <clears throat> The space and you know to keep a lot of stuff mm -hmm. well this this is wonderful food we got right here from the Caribbean we got Dominican Republic Cuba uh, Puerto Rico some a little bit of Mexico too so we got a variety of food people love it here in Galveston All right, and you're the chef right I'm the chef I'm being the chef 25 years and uh, going up to 30 now <laughs> so okay. So it's kind of your dream to start this up. Yes, this, this was a this, it's our dream right here. We succeed uh, building this truck the way we want it, and uh, people love it. People love our food. The locals, the locals, like I said, they're amazing. So what's your they what's your favorite dish here? Our favorite dish we got Cuban sandwich, the empanadas, the chicharrón de pollo. Mm -hmm. We got tripleta. We call them the triple. It goes with three meats. Ham, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and pork. And, and pork. And pork. Okay. We also have the mofongo. We got the mofongo also. That's a really popular one, huh? Yeah. Yes. We got uh, the tostones, the yuca frita, the yeah. empanadas. Oh, the yuca frita, yeah, that, that and, one sells uh, a lot, yeah. We had a lot of variety. People love it. Something different in the island. I, I think we are the first one to be Caribbean here in the island from, from from the Caribbean. I was from telling him island. I was telling him about 
how, how many people told us that we were not going to be successful because everyone likes uh, taco. God is with us always. Uh, so. Quesadilla, yeah. So, and look, look what happened. It got you to come to us. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I, we're more than grateful and humble. And, wonderful and honestly, review, honestly. wonderful review from everybody. Uh, they considered us a five star food truck <laughs> in Yelp. We got five star. And um, people love it. Needs, yeah. Yes, Galveston needs it. People making a lot of comments. And, That's and, where I found you. And, oh, and, really? Yeah. Beautiful yeah. Mm-hmm. And every new person that comes here, they says, you know you guys are famous? I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> we're not, feeling, we're not feeling famous. You know, we're just doing what we love. You know, and, <laughs> and we also like to work with the community. So we are here in Galveston. Yes. And um, we love to help. But we also are going to move from this location. Um, We're going to move to 24, 28 Postal Postal Office Street Post Office Street In front of Sharky's Right across from Sharky's Right in downtown Galveston So for for next month we're going to be there No, this coming coming, um, weekend We're moving on Thursday, the 27th by Memorial Day weekend, we'll be in a new location. Um, even though we love it here, but the environment is not. So we want a, a different environment. That's a good spot. It I is think. a really good spot. Right and, uh, and the person that, we, uh, that we're renting a lot from, uh, Joseph, his name is Joseph. Um, he's an amazing guy. So we are uh, really excited to work we're with him. We're excited. He's going to give us the opportunity to be with them. And it's going to be two or three or four trucks right there parked. Yeah. It's going to be a food truck park. Yes. And it's going to be it's going to be nice, right yeah. in the middle of downtown Galveston. Yes. So we're going to be glad to be part of that. And uh, people can it's, look it's for us nice right adventure. there. It's a nice adventure. It's a nice adventure. Yes. Yes. We love cooking for you guys. And come on over and taste our food. And speaking of that, I think it's time for me to get some food. What do you think I should order? I think uh, I want to try the Cuban. Is that Cuban a good choice? Sandwich. The Cuban sandwich. You want to see how I make it? Yeah, let's do it. Follow me. seasoning so ready to go to the plata the good things we got that is we serve it with fries not to put some empanadas for you Beautiful empanadas, you can take out the empanadas. What's this one over here? 
over here we got our sauce. This is hot sauce. And we are prepping for the tacos, burritos, and quesadilla. We serve it on the side. And um, I'm in the process of um, making it. We have to boil it. And my wife can show you a little bit of our, our, our sauce. So this is how it looks like after it's already um, boiled and blend. Put it in here. I gotta say, it smells amazing in here. Yeah, it smells good. So this is the pork. We also have the chicken right here. And this is the beef. Sorry. And those are the three meats that we serve here. And this, this is a sauce that my husband already uh, also makes and people love this green sauce they are they come and they tell us to give it more and more and more because they love it and, oh i have some in here for that i don't know this so this is how it, how it is here in the food truck this is how we made the mofongo with right here <laughs> This is what we use to make the mofongo and they come out so great. Wonderful. That's called a pilon. This is a pilon right here. <laughs> For people who don't know, what is that? What is that dish? This is um, plantains, pork, garlic, a little bit of oil, seasoning. And it's mashed right here in the, in the pilon. And it goes with, a, with some shredded cheese right on top and it's great. People love it. We serve it with Country, they call it pastelillo. Pastelillo. Yeah. Pastelillo. Here we had to change the name to empanada because that's what people understand oh, okay. it more for. But in our culture, our country, we call it pastelillo. All right. Well, I'm excited to try it. It's good. good. Wonderful. All right. I'm excited to try this. I was having to smell it the whole time. It smells so good.
There we go. Thank you all for showing me everything today too. It's a pleasure to have you over here as a guest. Mm -hmm. And more um, beautiful things will come. Oh yeah. Uh, we try to prepare a menu. We a lot of stuff and it's a lot of more food. Mm. That's good. Awesome. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me eat, so I'll be back. All right, so we got some customer reviews here, huh? Yeah. What's y'all's favorite thing here? Um, uh, mofongo. Yeah, the mofongo, and then I had the, uh, the tostones are really, really good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. stole a lot of his tostones. tostones. The tripletas, very good. All that. Yeah, I've been here three or four times now since they've opened. Yeah, They're fantastic. Nice. This yeah. is my first time actually here, but I usually eat off of what he brings. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is my first time. This is really good. It's Cuban. awesome. Oh yeah. Very good. Yeah. See, Cuban's I was just good. debating if yeah, I wanted Cuban the Cuban good. or the tripleta. Yeah. Should definitely get the Cuban. If I could go back in time, I'd just get one of everything. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> it's That's really what I'm trying awesome. to work my way through here. <laughs> get something new every time. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one bad thing about eating in Galveston. Yeah, really anywhere outdoors in Galveston. Oh, These yes. guys are relentless. Yeah, they are relentless. <laughs> <laughs> See, they know that it's good too. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks, y'all. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Galveston, by the way. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Of course, yeah. The seagull stole my food. So overall, Cavoli Mila was an incredible experience. Honestly, I expected the food to be good, just based off of what people said on Facebook, but I had no idea the kind of service that I would get. Um, it was really an experience, and I actually had a lot of fun doing it. So, that being said, check them out. This is episode one on our food truck hunt. Um, Cavoli Mia, led by a chef with almost 30 years of experience, a great couple. Um, he's been a chef everywhere from Chicago to Austin and many more all around the country. And now they're in Galveston, uh, living their dream, starting their food truck. And it's their ultimate goal to have their own restaurant. So please guys, pay them a visit. You won't regret it. Great prices, great food. Let me know in the comments below uh, which food truck I should check out next. And with that being said, you can also get full-length vlogs, behind-the-scenes, deleted scenes, and much, much more at patreon.com backslash localia. So we'll see you next time. Until then, peace.